Ever notice that aluminum foil has two sides, one super reflective and the other kind of matte? If you've ever wrapped up leftovers or covered a baking dish, you've probably wondered, does it even matter which side faces out? Is one better for cooking than the other? Or is this just one of those weird quirks of manufacturing? Well, let's dive in and finally settle this shiny versus dull debate. Right here on History of Simple Things. Before we get into the shiny and dull mystery, let's take a quick trip back in time. Aluminum foil as we know it today didn't even exist until the early 20th century. Before that, people used tin foil. Yes, actual tin. It worked fine for wrapping food, but it left a metallic taste behind. Not exactly appetizing. Enter aluminum a metal that's lightweight, rust-resistant, and most importantly, doesn't mess with the taste of your food. In 1910, a Swiss company called Dr. Lauber, Neher and C started producing the first commercial aluminum foil. It quickly became a household staple, used for everything from food storage to insulation, and even in the military for radar countermeasures. Now, on to the real reason aluminum foil has two different finishes. It all comes down to how it's made. Aluminum foil starts out as a huge sheet of aluminum that's repeatedly rolled thinner and thinner. At the beginning of the process, it looks more like a thick metal plate. As it's pressed between industrial rollers, it gradually flattens into the thin, flexible sheet we're familiar with. But here's the catch. When the foil reaches its final ultra-thin stage, it gets too delicate to be rolled individually. To prevent tearing, manufacturers take two sheets and roll them together as a pair. The side that comes in direct contact with the rollers gets a smooth, shiny finish. Meanwhile, the inner sides, where the two sheets press against each other, end up with a dull matte texture because they don't get the same polishing effect. Once the foil is thin enough, the two sheets are separated and wound onto individual rolls. And just like that, you get one shiny side and one dull side, not because of any special coating or design, but simply as a byproduct of the manufacturing process. Okay. But does this actually make a difference when you're cooking? If you've ever heard someone say you should wrap your food with the shiny side facing in or out for better heat reflection, you're not alone. But the truth, it doesn't really matter. Both sides of aluminum foil conduct heat the same way. The difference in reflectivity is so minimal that it has no real impact on cooking times or food quality. Whether you're roasting potatoes or covering a casserole, the shiny and dull sides are practically identical in function. So go ahead and use whatever side you want. It's all the same in the end. That said, there is one exception, non-stick foil. Some brands make aluminum foil with a non-stick coating applied to one side, usually the dull one. If you're using non-stick foil, then yes, it does matter which side touches the food. The dull side should be facing in to prevent sticking. But for regular foil, no difference at all. Now that we've settled the great aluminum foil debate, let's talk about some other cool things you can do with it. Need to sharpen dull scissors? Fold up some aluminum foil and cut through it a few times. Instant sharpness. Want to clean a rusty grill? Scrunch up some foil into a ball and scrub away the grime. And if your Wi-Fi signal is weak, you can even position a sheet of aluminum foil behind your router to help direct the signal where you need it most. Who knew something so simple could be so versatile? Believe it or not, Aluminum foil isn't just a kitchen essential, 
it's also a space-age material. NASA and other space agencies use aluminum-based foils to protect spacecraft and astronauts from extreme temperatures. The reflective properties help deflect intense heat from the sun while also keeping valuable heat inside when traveling through freezing deep space. The iconic gold foil you see on lunar landers and satellites, that's actually an aluminum-based material designed to shield against radiation and temperature swings. Without this technology, many of our space missions wouldn't survive the harsh environment beyond Earth's atmosphere. So next time you use aluminum foil at home, just remember, you're using a material that's also helping astronauts explore the universe. While aluminum foil is incredibly useful, it does have an environmental impact. Producing aluminum requires a lot of energy, and mining bauxite, the primary ore used to make aluminum, can have significant ecological consequences. The good news? Aluminum is 100% recyclable. In fact, recycling aluminum saves up to 95% of the energy needed to produce new aluminum from raw materials. Unfortunately, not all aluminum foil makes it into the recycling bin. Because it's often contaminated with food residue, many recycling centers won't accept it. To make sure your used foil gets a second life, try rinsing off any leftover food before tossing it in the recycling. Better yet, reuse it when possible, whether it's for covering leftovers, insulating a window, or crafting DIY projects. Now you know why aluminum foil has two distinct sides. It's not magic, and it's not a special feature. It's just a side effect of how it's made. And when it comes to cooking, don't stress about which side is up. Unless you're using nonstick foil, it's all the same. Beyond the kitchen, aluminum foil has proven to be an incredibly versatile material, used in industries ranging from space exploration to everyday life hacks. Whether it's reflecting heat, improving Wi-Fi signals, or even aiding scientific discoveries, this humble kitchen staple has a fascinating story behind it. Now go forth and wrap, roast, and experiment with aluminum foil like a pro. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.